Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mayday Sun Eats. So today, we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna be trying out what I saw in the grocery store. And it's funny because I really wanted to have this kind of product, and I was thinking about ordering it on Amazon. The gods have answered my prayers. Kellogg's Unicorn Fruit Loops. Unicorn Fruit Loops. Oh my, oh my. Oh my, this costed me 150 yen or something like that. And um, it, it caught my eye. I was like, oh shit, talking mushrooms. I really want Fruit Loops. So as you can see here, it's unicorn Fruit Loops, but it, it's not for the reason you think it is because Japanese people don't really eat cereal for breakfast, but they use cereal for like a dessert topping. So if you take a look at the back here, you can see there's a whole bunch of different product uses. You got a sundae on there. You got a, a toast, you can put on a toast, you can put in a lot of parfait here and other uses like a, a lollipop use and like desserts, yogurts. So they don't use it like how we eat it in America or Canada um, because we like to put it in uh, like um, milk and then you, you eat it like that for breakfast or midnight snack or whatever. And that's basically how we eat cereal, but they don't do that here in Japan. They eat like ochazuki, like rice tea or whatever. But anyway, let's get into this. Not gonna waste anybody's time this time around. Been practicing getting rid of rambling. I'm gonna open this thing up and let's take a good ass whiff. Oh, it smells like my childhood, bro. Mmm. Take a look-see. Take a look-see at that. If you can see that. Mmm. That's crispy, bro. I forgot that Fruit Loops are originally this color. Yeah, red, yellow, and green. And the blue ones were only recently added. Toucan Sam, oh man. Mmm, smells just like preservatives and sugar. Here we go, let's try this out. Let's put it in the bowl. Try a little bit first. You know what sucks though? This cost me 150 yen, and there's like only two servings worth in this box. God damn. You know what I really want? I want Rice Krispies. I want Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies and plain Cheerios. Oh, I love Cheerios, but they don't have Cheerios here. Oh, I love Cheerios and Rice Krispies with bananas in it. Oh man, have you ever had Rice Krispies with bananas in it? Oh, okay. Anyway, let's try this out. Put a little bit of milk. So the key is to just get, just get the cereal wet. All right, you don't let it swim in it. You just give a little bit of base. You do a 70 to 30 ratio. And let's see if it tastes how it's supposed to taste. Like a unicorn. Here we go. We got a little bit of milk, 70 to 30 ratio. Let's try this out. Mmm. Hella crispy. Mm hmm. Mmm. That's hella crispy. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Tastes just like back home. And it's funny, because when I was a kid, I never really liked the sugar cereals that much. Like, Lucky Charms was disgusting. I did like Fruit Loops, though. Like, basically, my mom would buy a cereal for the week. Sometimes she'd buy Fruit Loops, but didn't really like them that much back then. But... Now it's really good. Mmm, it's so crunchy and crispy. And it tastes like a unicorn. That's funny. They put nutritional value on here, but why? <laughs> Who cares? It's just, it's bad for you to begin with, but I guess that's why it's dessert. Like usually when you, they add cereal as a topping to like ice cream and stuff, it's usually for the crunch factor. And this is definitely crunchier than regular Fruit Loops. Mmm. Like if I'm not careful, if I'm not careful, it'll literally cut my mouth. I'm not sure if it's because I haven't had Fruit Loops in so long. Like years. Years I haven't had Fruit Loops. Or that I'm like super hungry right now and I just want to eat. Either way, it's really good. So I'm going to have to give it my four ratings here. Um, taste. Very, very good. That's a 10 out of 10 Natsukashi nostalgia taste. Texture, very good. Very crispy. The sugar kind of tickles your tongue. It's really good. 
Price wise, I'm gonna give this like a five out of 10. Cause like it's 120 grams. I eat that in a sitting. And that costed me 158 yen or something like that. It was expensive. It's expensive for what it is, for how much you get. You can, you can pay like $5 in Canada for a big ass jumbo box, which is still expensive. Marketing wise, yeah, bro, I was sold by this. Look at this, it pops in your face. It pops right away. Immediately, it pops into your face. Considering that cereal is not that popular, that jumped out at me. It even has social media on it. So you can Insta buy your, uh, your pictures and show all your friends your cute little dessert designs because you know you're staying home and you're not going out for pancakes at a time like this. Honestly guys, I'm not gonna extend it any longer. This has been Unicorn Fruit Loops by Kellogg's, the same brand that makes the regular Fruit Loops in Japan. Um, you can buy this for about 158 yen at the store for 120 grams, which is not enough for a serving, but hey, it tastes good. So if you are craving your Western cereal cravings, and the cornflakes and the fruit granola is not enough for you because they're too expensive and they kind of taste like crap and you got to get all over it. And you just want to have that sugary fix, Unicorn Fruit Loops, available at your local superstore. This has been Mason of Review Tech Japan, signing out.